Today, we are going to learn how to create a course in Echo with derivatives. You don't always have to have derivatives with a course. You can just have one course. But here are a couple reasons why you might want to have a derivative underneath of your master course. Let's say you're a history teacher and you teach history at the high school level and you have many different sections of the same course. You might want to have derivatives under your master course for each section. This will help you to avoid having too many students in one course, which can be overwhelming. Another reason you might want to have a master and derivatives might be at the elementary level. You might have three teachers in a team and you might want to make sure you are sharing content across all three classrooms. So you might have a master course for your second grade team and then have three derivatives, one for each teacher. Let's get started on how to create a master course with some derivatives. Here is your home screen when you log into Echo. You'll come to the upper right hand corner. If you click on this button, it will say manage courses or if you hover over it, it says manage courses. When you click on it, you'll want to go to create. Under the create new tab, you're going to go ahead and type in your name of your course. You go ahead and select, you want to be the teacher owner, and then you will select when your course will start and when you want it to end. So if you can see my course right now is about one, is exactly one year long. Once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and click create. Here is my new master course. Now, if I teach three sections of world history, I'm going to want to make three derivatives. This is the master. No students should ever be enrolled in the master course. The master course is simply a place for you to put information that will then filter down to each of your derivatives. Let's create der derivatives for our world history class. Come right back up here to your manage course icon. Click create. You're going to want to be in your copy from your domain tab. The original course we called world history. You'll want to select that. You want to make sure that everything you put in your master course trickles down into your derivative. So you want to make sure you have update derivative child copy highlighted. If you choose the no updates, anything you put into your master course will not go down to your derivatives. If you're teaching the same section of a course, more than likely everything you put into your master, you will want to go down into your derivatives. So we're gonna make sure we have updates um, selected. We're gonna not just, uh, not just title this derivative world history, we're gonna call it world history period one. Again, you want to make yourself a teacher owner and make sure you have your start date and your end date. Hit create. Now you will see your derivative underneath of your master. We can go ahead and do that two more times to make two more derivatives. Same process, copy from your domain. We're going to want to make sure we copy it from the master, which is the course that is just labeled world history updates we want to receive updates and we're going to call this one period two you want to be a teacher owner so you can grade your students if you're just an owner i'm not sure that you will have access to be able to grade your students you want to make sure you're a teacher owner check your date create and now you have two derivatives let's go ahead and add our last derivative Oh, we want to make sure we are in our copy from your domain. Again, select the master, updates, yes, world history, period three, teacher owner, check your dates, and create. Really quickly, you're going to want to make sure that you have a start date and an end date for all of your courses. If you click continuous, it's going to make it 
difficult or almost impossible for you to choose due dates for your assignments, your students' assignments. So go ahead and make sure you have a start date and an end date. You can always get in there and adjust those later if you need to. Create. Now we have a course with three derivatives. Doing it like this, again, I'll tell you one more time, you wanna make sure you don't have any students in your master course. That is sheerly there for editing purposes. You can put all of your content and everything you want your students to learn in this course, and all of that information you put in your master will trickle down into your derivative. But having derivatives allows you to put only your period one students in period one and only your period two students in period two. If you just have one course, it can become extremely overwhelming to have all of these students, say 75 of them or more, in one course. This allows you to differentiate also across courses. When you come to your course and you do decide to edit, you can edit for just your derivative courses. You just have to make sure that when you are in the editor button that you are editing the derivative and not the and not the master. If you want to make an edit to all three derivatives, you can do that within the master. But if you want to do something a little bit different for period one than you're going to do for period two and period three, you can go ahead and edit the master, everything will trickle down, and then you can go in to period one and you can edit just period one. You have to make sure though that when you're editing, you're looking up here and you're editing just that derivative that you want. And that is how you create a course with derivatives.